Hi guys, welcome to this week's episode. I am in the new Range Rover Sport. Now this is our development car for our new up and coming kit. Five litre supercharged, exactly the same as the Range Rover I was driving. And I have to say, this is a completely different car. I believe same chassis and exactly the same engine, but this drives like a sports car. So driving this is pretty relevant because tomorrow we are off to Absolute Motors in Europe, our European partner, and we are going to drive Pat's Sport SV Edition 1 for the first time. How much better is it than this five litre supercharged? And I've got one big question. Is the SV Edition 1 good enough? I just love saying skipple. Taking a look at the new Sport SV. This is the first time I've seen one in person, and I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with it. It's a cool looking thing. There's, there's a few little bits that I'm not too sure of, which I know that we can improve upon. But it's a great spec, isn't You're it? You're already like, talking about improvements. Like, yeah, you're learning, you're learning. <laughs> That's why it's here. Yes. Yeah. Because it needs improvement. It's so subtle. It's such a subtle design for such a special edition. It's very subtle styling. The first thing that jumps out to me is like it oozes quality, that it does actually, you know, we haven't been out in the car yet, but we've sat in the car and everything, the black chrome looks amazing. Uh, which is new, obviously the, the, the paint finish, the carbon, satin carbon, just, it just cool, it just cool. oozes quality. I think before they started designing this, they've taken a look at the competitors. What, like carbon the... fiber seat backs, for example? <laughs> yeah. You see, yeah. Yeah. there, there yeah. are certain things when I was you know, I visited the UK just to, they launched this car, it was in the garden, in this color with this, you know, carbon fiber wheels. I said, yeah, I want to have this. Mm. Because it's... You say that about every car, Pat. <laughs> yeah, every car it's you still, see, I want to have this. This <laughs> is what I need. But even their own front bumper, it's very modified oh, looking, where it's deep, it's got a chin, it's, it's got, got a chin. splitter. Yeah. You know, they're, 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 they're taking some design cues from other people, shall we say. Yeah. You normally find with an SUV like this, the actual, the, the, the belly pan of the bumper is normally upturned mm -hmm. to give you clearance for off-roading. Obviously, you probably wouldn't do off-roading in this, but even on the sportier models, you would always get like an upturned front, whereas, mm -hmm. like you say, this is a low, low body of the car, the chin sticks out like a sports car. You said it drives like a sports car. It's like, I think the outer body of the car is like new. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It seems new, it's sporty it's the edition one i think the paint also does a lot because of the this you know the sharp lines mm -hmm. yeah and the matte finish yeah well you really can see great. the wage lines really yeah. nicely when you've really got matte nice. paint here yeah. carbon hood yeah nice yeah. so engine tech drivability perfect don't need to go anywhere near that do we but just styling it needs needs more aggression more. i mean i mentioned before like the fake you know, the, the, the vents and stuff, these need to be like, <laughs> what did you say? What a, was the... A power bowl. A power yeah, bowl. When we when we've developed our hood and it's going to have a power bulge and big, long carbon vents on yeah. it. Yeah. 
Yeah, because these are these are nowhere near aggressive enough for a 630 brake horsepower. But it sports needs to be SUV. functional, right? It's yeah. not functional. It's no. just like the looks. And then you know you miss out on the fun. Yeah, what's the function of this? It's like it's just looks. I can't. I, yeah, carbon wheels. I would be, the first thing I would do with these carbon wheels is take them off. Put them in bubble wrap. Yeah, listen, <laughs> listen. Put them in the bubble wrap. Yeah, because if you ever curb one, you will cry. Yesterday, Sai just tried, drove. In yeah. mine, he said, Pat, you know, I can't do this. No, I can't do no, this. it makes you feel uncomfortable. I will send you some new <laughs> wheels because, you know, the own wheels, just put this aside, just. One thing with a factory as well, the offset of the wheels, it sits really in. It needs to be much more aggressive. And, not, and, and on, on our car, we're obviously putting some wider fenders on there as well. Which, people go 24s? Are, I mean, 20, the 23s on the car and they look small. Mm. So definitely 24s, yeah. Yeah, it's a beat. I must say it's it's a more beefy look yeah. of the, this SV than yeah. the SVR, right? If you did see the standard SVR, was already a great car, but yeah, then if yeah. you put the urban parts on it, like the special one with the common hood, like well, this, is, down, this yeah. is why this car is so important because the V2 was such a, a great looking kit, wasn't it? And it was, yeah. you know, the Sport and SVR from 2018 to 2022 was just so best selling car, best selling car, like, with the exception of the Defender, obviously. Yeah, of course. The things which are really important, I think the brakes, ceramic brakes now. I think a different engine, BMW engine, like, yeah. you know, driving this car, it's like a sports car. Mm -hmm. Like, we will go outside just in a moment and you will just experience it. It's like, so on that note then, let's go out. Let's go. So what's the right side of the road then? <laughs> this, this. If we go in the middle, then we're then like 50, 50, 50, 50. Yeah. 50 yeah. <laughs> right. What do you think? The so where it's chosen the right weather? We're in sports mode, right? No, we're not now, I just turned no. it off. I was going to say, it was, a little bit bouncy. It was already very, <laughs> very bumpy. But I must say, I told Sai when we were driving it, it's a bit bouncy, yeah. to be honest. It's like very rough. So this is in normal mode, yeah? But it's not comfortable, right? Is it meant to be comfortable? Yeah, the right side of the road. Yeah. The right <laughs> side of the you road. might have to keep reminding me. Yeah, yeah, yeah no problem. <laughs> like you're reminding me in the UK. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. comfortable in the back. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Bucket seats are good. Yeah. yeah. Like they. These are comfortable. Yeah. The sitting good. position is great. I've always preferred the, the driving position in a sport over the full size Range Rover. I like yeah. bit, like sitting lower and all the, the centre console and everything being higher. Yeah, agree. For a big car like this, the position is great, right? Yeah. But the interior needs some more colour, right? You see how the cycle lanes are actually better quality than our real roads. <laughs> <laughs> Do you suffer from like potholes here in the road or is it? It's all no, quite smooth. We pay that yeah. much tax. It's, um, uh, it's, we pay that much tax, but it's still yeah. shit. <laughs> if you're watching, if you're watching Richie, yeah. <laughs> it, the roads are <laughs> shit. Really? Yeah. So do you think we we'll extend these carbon seat backs then? We could do the tops. Yeah, I did look at that. Like it is a nice place to be. It right? yeah. It's really, really nice. Send it, Zai. Si. Send it. Send it. Send it. There's a roundabout, isn't there? 
and we still have to, or still we have to climb the wheels. So. <laughs> It sounds good though. Yeah, that's, uh, that's in that's standard. Still, it's that's still in, standard. in the SV mode. That's in standard. Right, put, it, put it in SV. Got to have no, it in SV. It we can put it up with a little bit of a harsh ride. It's instantly bumpier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you're the driver, it doesn't matter. God, doesn't yeah. that sound yeah, good? It's lovely, yeah. So the last SVR was obviously the 5 litre V8 supercharged. This is the 4.4 .4 V8 twin turbo out of a BMW M5. Yeah. Same, same power plant. Yeah. They've made it great choice to do that with BMW, right? I wonder why that was. Because their own engines were shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it got more power out of a 4.4 litre, yeah. right? Well, even though it's like quite a stiff ride, it's not uncomfortable in the back. But we need to do some proper driving, right? This is like an old man walk around the church. I am an old man. <laughs> what happened? You know that. You know what, that what I happened? don't like driving fast. What happened? Right, this person in this VW Polo next to you has just mugged you right off, so you need to show them 630 brake horsepower. Oh, she's gonna beat me. She is, look. Yeah, yeah. But I think on the roads in the UK, it's quite a big car, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not. Why are, you, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not used, no, I'm not used to side and just speeding, right? He's always so relaxed. At the lights and then they Man. turn green and then... Yeah, left foot on the brake, right foot all the way down, launch control. I'm not going to launch control. Launch control I'm right. not going to launch control, Pat's 288 <laughs> kilometre new car. Go! <laughs> it is good. It's great. That's the... You've got to remember it is an SUV, it's not... It's What's the weight of the car? It's like... A few tons, maybe, yeah. I'm not sure. But it's nice, on the SV mode, the clippers turn red, like... Yeah. The display is turning design, out yeah, in the nice sporty design, cues, yeah. design. It's still it is tame though, isn't it? Yeah. It's still tame. Yeah. What do you think? Is it, car, is, is, it, is it worth... Is it worth the money in the UK versus the money in the Netherlands? Would I pay 170 grand for it? Probably yes. Would I pay 300,000 euros for it? Probably not. 320,000 euros. It's like, that's so much money. Well, congratulations, mate. It's a very, very Thanks, nice mate. car. It's impressive, huh? Do that for the video. It's impressive. <laughs> it's impressive. <laughs> it's really impressive. What do we reckon to the Sport SV then, mate? Like, I liked it, but 195 grand spec. It's a great car, but that's a 120 to 140 grand car all day. I would say probably 140. I mean, the standard V8 that I was driving and still am on the R&D car is 125. Yeah. Which is about right when you add the price of the kit and the wheels and stuff yeah, like that. Of course, yeah. Um, it's obviously a very grand, it's a lot of money. <laughs> it's obviously a very, very important car to us because I'd say the V2 SVR, the L494, was probably the, the most, most popular. That was the car that really put Urban on the map, wasn't it? Um, but yeah, great time in Rotterdam, though. Yeah, that was that was nice for me as well. The first time I've obviously time been you've there. Seen them. Yeah, it was um, good. Amazing setup, great guys, and they they do us proud over there, really, yeah, with the do, Urban they brand. Do a, they? a proper proper job for us. Mm. Yeah. So are you liking the sport then? I like the Sport. Because obviously you've come out the full size. Now, they are very, very different, aren't they? You yeah. sit... Same chassis, same engine. Yeah. I think they're the same chassis. But I might with be wrong, the people full size Range Rover, you I always you feel like you sit on it. On. And the Sport, because you sit, sit lower in. and everything's and higher in. up. Yeah. Yeah. But the obviously the power delivery is the same. I guess the Range Rover is a little bit lumpier, but it is like a, a quick comfortable SUV whereas the Sport does ha actually have some agility. A bit more agile, yeah, yeah. yeah, you can throw it round the roundabout a bit. So so after these I'd like five, both. Yeah. Okay, well one for the wife and one for you then. So after these five hundred and fifty or six hundred limited edition first edition ones, yeah. will they make the SV as just a normal SVR? Is that the new SVR? I would hope so because we've scanned the diffuser and we're gonna make our we are gonna make our kit fit the S V. Right. Okay. So we've scanned the diffuser and what we'll do we'll adapt the design so the front bumper we know will fit because mm -hmm. it's just a replacement whereas the rear diffuser we're just replacing that so i mean we're going to make the kit for it there will be someone out there that wants an individual sv yeah absolutely so, yeah you know we're supply and demand levels exciting demand. exciting times so for everyone watching without putting too much pressure on yourself 
work harder and buy an SV. <laughs> I was going to say, when do you think we're going to have some something to show these people? Um, so all of the designs are done. It's gone to pattern this week. We're doing something a little bit different this time. We're going to build a big stock level up before we release. So on the day that people see it, I'm, I'm always they moaning. will be I'm, able I'm to always buy moaning. It. We release amazing things and then, right, 12 weeks yeah. lead time. Yeah. So I, that's good. I expect it to be complete in the next sort of eight weeks and then we'll keep it under wraps. We might do something cool and put like camo on it and drive it around London. Graffiti it or something or like we that. we drive it around Gaydon, just in case, just in case there's some snappers around there. Just park it up right outside. What are you saying? <laughs> on that note, <laughs> I think we should say we will see you next week. So in the effort of professionalism, here is a link <laughs> to Absolute Motors. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. I'm sorry, Tom, you're such a perfectionist.